guys, welcome back to another episode of Learning with Isha. We are talking about population interactions. Today, we will start talking about predation. Before moving on to this video, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out my earlier videos describing many such other interactions for better insights on the topic. I have already made videos on parasitism, commensalism, mutualism and many such other topics. So today, now let's start with predation. Predation kya hoti hai? Naturally, jab bhi hum predation word sunte hai, instantly hume click karta hai the word predator. Aur predator ke saath hum sabse pehle sochte hai, ek aisa animal jo dousre animals ko khata hai. First example of predator jo aapko aata hooga man mein, it must be an eagle and that snake wali picture or a lion hunting a deer. Such images are common pictures that we associate with predation. But actually, Predation is a much more complex process in nature than that. In fact, not only is it very useful, but without predation, there will be an ecological imbalance. Let's begin. Predation, first of all, is an interaction between two organisms. Ek jo ki hunt kar raha hoga, aur ek jiska shikar ho raha hota hai. The one that hunts is called the, it's called the predator. Okay. And the one, the poor one that is getting harmed, that is getting hunted is called the prey. So prey and predator. So now a question that I want to pose to you is, ki kya predator hamesha ek carnivorous animal hona zaroori hai? Ya ek herbivore bhi ek predator ho sakta hai? Well, the answer to this question is that not only a carnivore, but a herbivore in its own sense is also a predator. If a sparrow, if a bird eats a seed, it is also predating on the seed. The seed serves as the prey for the sparrow. So predators can be both animals and in fact even plants. And in animals they can be both carnivores and herbivores. Okay. How can plants be predators? Well, we will look, look at that in a Let's first begin with animal predators. Animal predators, like I've told you, can be carnivorous. Carnivorous kya hote? Those animals that feed on other animals are known as carnivores. Okay, paramecium, frogs, starfish. Aapki ye sari kis ki example hai? Larger fishes feed on smaller fishes. They are all carnivores. Tiger, lion, they are all carnivores. Now, the second term is herbivores. Kaun hote hai herbivores? Those animals that feed on plants, they are also predators. A cattle that is grazing on grass is also a predator in its sense. A sparrow that I've already told you is also a predator. So, herbivores are also predators. In fact, plants are also predators. Kaun se plants aise hote hai? We have all heard about the pitcher plant. We have also heard about the Venus flytrap plant. So the scientific name for the pitcher plant is Nepenthes. And the scientific name for Venus flytrap plant is Dynia. A specific term is also used for these kind of plants. They feed on insects. They are called as what? They are called as insectivorous plants. They are insectivorous plants. So what are insectivores? Those plants, those organisms that feed on insects are insectivores. Now in the next part, let's begin talking about the advantages of predation. As weird as it may sound, but predation ke apne advantages pe hote in nature mein. Well, it doesn't mean that predation is a good interaction. In fact, it is a detrimental interaction where one partner is harmed. Definitely, the predator is getting benefited, but the prey is getting harmed. Okay, but let's look at the advantages. Now, see, predation helps in the flow of energy in nature. In an ecosystem, ecosystem kya hota hai? Ka organism hota hai. Wo e, ap, apne around or living organism se bhi interact kar raha hota hai. और अपने एनवायरनमेंट से भी इंटरैक्ट कर रहा होता है इस पूरे सिस्टम को हम क्या कहते हैं इकोसिस्टम नाउ इन दिस इकोसिस्टम व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दैट एनर्जी फ्लो इज हैपनिंग कैसे हर इकोसिस्टम इज गेटिंग एनर्जी फ्रॉम वेयर 
sunlight. The exception of this is very interesting. The exception where an ecosystem does not get energy from sunlight is, well, it, are, it is the deep sea hydrothermal vents. But besides that, all ecosystems derive their energy from what? Sunlight. Okay. Sunlight se kya hua? Ab inorganic, simple compounds, carbon dioxide, water, photosynthesis ho gaya, sunlight ki presence mein. Plants ne kya bana diya? Organic molecules, sugar synthesize kar li. Ab ye plants ko koon kha rahe hai? Animals, thik hai? Wo apne body mein, let's say, proteins, fats, ye sari cheeze bana rahe hai. To kya ho rahe hai? Ek energy ki flow ho rahe hai. Sunlight se jo energy aai thi, wo plants mein aai. Kuch to plants ne store kar li, kuch heat ke form mein lose ho gai. Is pure process ko kehte hai, energy flow in an ecosystem. To ye tropic levels kya hoote hai? Well, each level at which an organism performs a specific role is called a tropic level. Jaise ki, let's look at this example. This is the example of what? A typical food chain, okay? Now see, here grass, grass is what? It is a producer. Producer kyun? Kyunki yehi sunlight se khana bana raha hai, yehi photosynthesis kar raha hai, yehi autotroph hai. Isko kaun khayega? Ek herbivore khayega. So herbivore is a consumer. In fact, a primary consumer. Grasshopper ko aage kha liya, frog ne. ये हो गया मेरा सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर स्नेक हो गया टर्शरी कंज्यूमर जो कि इस फ्रॉग को फर्दर खा रहा है बाद में आ गया मेरा टॉप लेवल कंज्यूमर जो कि हो गया मेरा हॉक राइट सो हियर एन एनर्जी फ्लो इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम वे टू ग्रास टू ग्रास हॉपर टू फ्रॉग टू स्नेक टू हॉक सो अगर ये प्रोडेशन नहीं होगी नॉट ओनली अ हॉक विच इज ईटिंग द स्नेक or the snake which is eating a frog. In fact, even a grasshopper that is eating a grass, this herbivore is also a predator. Har level pe predation ho rahi hai, usse energy ek higher level pe transfer ho rahi hai. So this is the role that predation plays in the transfer of energy. Isi le predators ko kya kehte hai? The conduits for the transfer or flow of energy. Madhyam hai energy flow ke. Now let's move on to the next advantage. Predation keeps the population of the prey in control. What does this mean? That if the predator is gone from the ecosystem, the prey's number will be increased. Now, an example of this was observed when an exotic species of prickly pear cactus was introduced in the 1920s in Australia. Before telling you more, I'll tell you what an exotic species is, okay? An exotic species and an indigenous species. These two words are used. Indigenous tribes, ethnic tribes. What are they? Which is a particular area that naturally belongs to them. They are called the indigenous population of that area. Exotic means what? It means exotic fruit. What does it mean? That in our case, in India, dragon fruit was not naturally naturally. So, it was called exotic fruit. It was from outside. Isiliye it is not indigenous, it is exotic. Do you know that even potato is exotic? Originally potato India ka rahi hai. It's a question for you to think ki kahaan se actually potato originate hua tha. Anyways, moving on. This exotic species was introduced in Australia. Phir kya hua ki naturally uska koi predator Australia mein to tha ne. To iski population rapidly rose. And how much? And it spread very quickly to millions of hectares and it became a big menace. To stop this, the Australian government had to start a movement. And what did they do? The natural predator was a moth. The cactus feeding predator, the moth was introduced artificially. It was introduced in Australia. Now what happened in the presence of the predator, the population of cactus came in control. The moth started feeding on this cactus and its population came away. But still, it is very prevalent in Australia and it is very prevalent in Australia. The name of the moth was Dictylopius confusus or Dictylopius opanche. This was a moth that feeds on the prickly pear cactus. Now let's move on to another advantage. Predators are used by us, we know a feature of predators that they will hunt down the prey. 
पर लेट्स से उसका जो प्रे है वो ऑलरेडी हमारे को कोई डिसएडवांटेज कॉज कर रहा है मेरे क्रॉप्स को अटैक कर रहा है या कोई मॉस्किटो है जो कि डेंगू मलेरिया फैला रहा है तो हम भी तो चाह रहे हैं कि ये जो प्रे है इसको कोई अटैक कर दे खत्म कर दे सो वाई नॉट यूज दिस प्रिडेटर ओनली इस फीचर को क्यों ना एक्सप्लॉयड करे इनफैक्ट इट इज डन इट इज कॉल्ड दी बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल ऑफ पेस बायोलॉजिकल क्यों बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट इज बींग यूज टू कंट्रोल वॉट दिस पेस लेट से मैंने एग्जाम्पल लिया मॉस्किटो का मॉस्किटो के लार्वे को कैम्ब्यूसिया या टॉप मीनोस को कहते हैं वो फीड कर जाता है उस पर नो लार्वे नो मॉस्किटो अनदर सच एग्जाम्पल इज एफर्ट्स जैसे कि कॉटन वगैरह को एफर्ट्स बहुत ईजिली अटैक करते हैं क्रॉप लॉसेस बहुत ज़्यादा बढ़ाते हैं इसको हम बायोलॉजिकली कैसे कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं लेडी बर्ड्स इंट्रोड्यूस करके ब्यूटिफुल भी होती है और हमारा काम भी कर देती हैं सो नॉ लेट्स लुक एट अनदर एडवांट Predators also help to maintain species diversity. क्या होती है species diversity? दो words हैं मैं हमेशा कहती हूँ words में meanings छुपे होते हैं species की diversity. Diversity क्या होता है अंतर variation. किस चीज की species? So the different kind of species present in an area is the species diversity of an area. अगर दस है let's say human भी है cat भी है dog भी है mouse भी है rabbit भी है ये पांच species है एक particular room में let's say तो स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ दैट रूम विल बी फाइव स्पीशीज अलग स्पीशीज जो प्रेजेंट है कैसे हेल्प करता है प्रिडेटर स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी मेंटेन करने में ये लास्ट पॉइंट से कहीं ना कहीं कनेक्टेड है अगर प्रे की पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाएगी दे विल फेस अ फिनोमिना नोन एज कॉम्पिटिशन वॉट इज कॉम्पिटिशन फे नॉट वे डू चेक आउट माई वीडियो अबाउट कॉम्पिटिशन कॉम्पिटिशन इज बेसिकली एन इंटरक्शन जहाँ पे रिसोर्स के लिए दो स्पीशीज आपस में कम्पीट करती हैं फाइट करती हैं ओके सो दिस हार्म्स बोथ ऑफ दैम अब यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल रॉकी इंटरटाइडल कम्युनिटीज ऑफ द अमेरिकन पैसिफिक कोस्ट में एक बड़ा ही इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोडेटर था एक स्टार फिश उस स्टार फिश का नाम क्या था पिसास्टर स्टार फिश ओके फाइन अब क्या है अब ये स्टार फिश के कारण वहां पे सब कुछ बढ़िया चल रहा था साइंटिस्ट ने सोचा चलो इसकी इंपॉर्टेंस जज करने के लिए एक एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं वॉट दे डिड इन दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉज दे एक्सपेरिमेंटली रिमूव दिस प्रोडेटर मतलब हटा दिया उस सेटिंग से ना वट हैपन दैट दे नोटिस दैट इट इन इन स्पैन ऑफ वन ईयर टेन स्पीशीज ऑफ इन वर्टिब्रेट गॉट एक्सटिंक्ट वेल इज इन इट टू ड्रास्टिक वेल इट इज ट्रू Why? Because ये species आपस में compete कर रही थी and the phenomena is not known as interspecific competition. So they were facing interspecific competition. Why were they facing this interspecific competition? Well, because in the absence of the predator, the prey population could not be brought in control. तो क्या हो रहा था नेचुरली जो भी स्पीशीज की एबिलिटी ऑफ फीडिंग गेटिंग न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड ऑल दैट ज्यादा होगी जो रिसोर्सेज ज्यादा कैप्चर कर जाएगा वो तो सरवाइव कर जाएगा बट बाकी सब क्या हो जाएंगे एक्सटिंक्ट हो जाएंगे देर फोर प्रिडेटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एन इको सिस्टम नॉट ओनली टू मेंटेन अ बैलेंस पॉपुलेशन कंट्रोल में बट डाइवर्सिटी मेंटेन करने में भी इनका रोल है So let's meet in the next video where I'll start talking about these important adaptations. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting updates. Thank you.